quarter to five Friday morning. Brittany Trump in for Michelle and Brittany. It is cold <laughs> out there. 19 degrees. That's the real temperature. The feel like yeah. temperature even lower. Yeah. Uh almost drastically cooler for a couple yeah. of spots. It's every time that wind starts to kick up just a little bit, it kind of chops that number in half for a couple of spots. So some areas are still feeling like the teens, but as soon as that wind picks up, we're down into the single digits. It's partially because of the clear skies that we have overhead. Here's a look out towards Newport. You can see the bridge beautifully lit up. No fog, not a lot of moisture across our region. That's because of this high pressure sitting off to the west. It's pulling some dry, colder air towards our area. It'll be sticking around for the rest of the day today in this high pressure, but eventually it'll start to be a little bit more friendly as far as helping us warm up and changing that wind direction for the second half of the day today. But for right now beautiful clear skies again that wind still out of the northwest with that cooler air moving in overhead temperatures right now we drop down into the teens a couple of spots are still holding on to the 20s looks like Providence about 20 degrees right now meanwhile 19 right along the coast Smithfield looking at 16 degrees but that's not what it feels like a couple of spots feel even cooler like I mentioned once that wind starts to pick up it almost slices those temperatures in half it feels like 10 for Providence right now nine for Newport meanwhile Westerly and Smithfield not seeing too much of a breeze as of right now, so they're feeling pretty true to that actual air temperature. Through the rest of this morning, lots of sunshine on the way. We'll start to warm up once that sun gets a little bit higher up in the horizon. By about lunchtime, we should be closer to that 30 degree mark, but we're really not expected to warm up all that much more. We'll be into the mid 30s for this afternoon. That's technically below average compared to what we're used to seeing for the start of March, so it will stay pretty cold out there and it won't even be feeling like the mid 30s. We're going to continue to see that breeze kicking up across the area. So as we head into the afternoon, we'll still be feeling like the 20s out there. So a cold end of your work week. Here's a look at that wind forecast. Like I said, eventually that High pressure will be moving closer to our area, so the wind direction will be changing to uh, out of the west later on this afternoon. That'll help to warm us up overnight tonight and into tomorrow, but with those gusts upwards of about 15 to 20 miles per hour, it's still going to cause uh, a little bit of a wind chill out there. So let's check out that hour by hour forecast by this afternoon. We're back up into the mid 30s again. It only feels like the 20s though. And then overnight tonight, we really don't cool down all that much more. I know overnight tonight and into this morning we dropped into the teens, but as we look forward to tomorrow morning, most of the areas should still be in the 20s. And then throughout the day Saturday, we'll continue to warm up. We'll be back into the 40s, much more seasonable, but we'll also be seeing a lot more moisture moving in. and a couple more clouds rolling in for your Saturday morning, sticking around throughout the afternoon. We'll be seeing a weak warm front move through late Saturday, so we could be seeing a quick little rain shower, but the real activity that holds off until late Sunday or early Sunday all the way through till Monday afternoon as we see a number of fronts and low pressures roll across our area. So for your Saturday afternoon, staying dry but cloudy out there and then by Sunday, that's when we really see a lot of rain moving in a lot windier out there as well. Big warm up on the way. Monday starts off pretty mild and then next week when we start to see the sunshine return, we'll also be seeing those temperatures start to drop closer to what we're used to for this time of year. You can head over to WPRI.com. We've got that full 70 forecast. You can check it out anytime you want and it is cold out there right now. I know walking to my car this morning, there were still patches of ice that I kind of had to navigate around. Yeah, the roadways are dry, so much better than yesterday yesterday and the day before, but you do still have some of those icy patches and I was the same way this morning, Brittany. <laughs> I was in between two jackets, a, a lighter jacket and my super warm jacket. I was like, nope, let's go super warm. Let's go heavy. <laughs>